Okay, so here's our paper. I actually have a bunch of sheets here that I'm gonna try and glue together because I don't know where I would get a piece of paper that big. So this is the only option I have. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it out first and then I'm just gonna glue it together just like that. Easy peasy. And there we go. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see how long this thing is. Seven feet tall. Okay, I think we hit our mark. So now I have to try and make it into a cone shape. Oh man. Uh, yes! Okay, this isn't bad. It's a little skinny, but you know, not terrible. Okay, add glue. Okay, here we go. Roll it a little bit more. Okay, and hopefully that ought to do it. Yes, we are done with this part anyway. Okay, let's uh, let's see how this guy stands up. And woo, this thing's taller than I am. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the bottom so it's a little bit more even and it'll actually stand up by itself without falling on me. Okay, we got it all cut. Let's see if it stands up. And it's crooked. No, let's cut a little bit more off the bottom, I guess. Will this do it? That's a little better. I think we're good. Okay, let's go ahead and start gluing some spoons to this bad boy. Well, it looks like I need more spoons. That ought to do. And so close. So freaking close. Oh, well, it looks like I need more spoons. I'll take a trip to Walmart. Perfect. Yeah, 400 ought to do it. Okay, so as you guys can see, there's like no structure to this tree at all. Like, it just kind of falls flat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut circles out of this cardboard and put it inside the tree to kind of reinforce it so keeps it keeps its shape. Okay, so first I'm gonna need to kind of like measure how big this is. Okay, so it's about, it doesn't want to even stay straight. Oh my gosh. So let's say it's about 20 inches, and then we'll do like 15 inches. I'm losing so many spoons! Go ahead and tie a little loop around this thumbtack. Looks good. And then I need to measure 10 inches. There we go. I'm gonna cut it a little bit bigger, actually. Let's do about 11 inches. And we're gonna tie this guy on here. Is that 10? Ah! Good enough. <laughs> Looks good. Now the next one. Cool. Get our X-Acto knife. Cool. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, cool. We're gonna try and put this in there. I'm really gonna have to get in here. This isn't bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. So this is good for the outside. Well, how big is this? I don't think this will fit on the inside of this. No, it won't at all. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this one down. In case you guys are wondering what it looks like when I'm inside of it, uh, this is what it looks like. Ah, I just got hot glue in my hair! Okay, there we go. Yeah, so this is what I'm doing, just kind of pushing this guy inside of here. We're gonna go ahead and get my trusty hot glue gun. Glue this down. I feel like I shouldn't be in here too long because of the fumes. Okay, cool. Okay, now for the big one. I'm just gonna pop that right in there. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Hot glue it in place. And then uh, I think we're about ready to paint it. And here we go. And that'll do it. Let's paint this bad boy. Okay, now it's time to paint this bad boy. Let's have some fun. But as always, safety first. Okay, all good to go. Yeah! Okay, so for some reason, the spray paint keeps clogging and it won't come out. I don't really know what to do about that. Uh, so I'm gonna try and fix that right now. 
I've never had this much problems with spray paint in my life. It's just clogging like instantly. I don't know what to do. Okay, so I took the cap off of a Rust-Oleum spray paint can and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the Krylon. It doesn't fit uh, uh, perfectly, so I have to kind of hold it weird. But you know, hopefully this will work. Okay, and now it clogged that one. I'm really out of options here. I, I don't know what to do. It wouldn't be that big of a deal if it only happened to like one can, but it happened to all six of them. I don't know what to do. Does it happen with the pink too? Okay, so it's not happening with the pink, so maybe I'll just color it pink. Yeah, that looks pretty freaking good. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and let it dry for a bit and uh, we'll take a look at this bad boy. <sighs> yeah, this looks like a good place to put our craft mystery. I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy down. Do you guys remember this rug? That took a while to make. And we put our craft mystery. Oh, you know what? Let's put the ottoman just to make it a little bit taller. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And our craft mystery right on top. Boom, yeah. Yeah, I'm liking how that looks. I also bought some fake snow and Christmas lights, so uh, let's put some of that on there. Start with the blue. Here we go. Plug that in right here. And around we go. Okay, stay there. Second set. Yeah, looks pretty good. I also got these lights. Let's see, where should I put these? Maybe hang them on it too? Let's do it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Woo, now time for the tinsel. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty good to me. I am so dizzy right now. Okay guys, so for this next part, I thought it would be fun if we made Toby some friends. I'm a lone wolf. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and hang them on the Christmas tree so you're only gonna see them once a year. Oh, I only have to see them once a year? Oh, yeah, that'll work, that's fine. Okay, I gotta go. Okay, so here are our tennis balls. I got 12 of them, so uh, let's go ahead and make 12 Tobys really quick. Pop all these open. Don't need these anymore. Okay, let's start making some Tobys. Let's start by making the mouths. Get our X-Acto knife, and there we go. Wow! Ha -ha! One down, um, uh, 11 more to go. Oh, yeah, okay, so these guys all have mouths now. Oh, where are my eyes? Where are my eyes? I can't see you anywhere! Where are you? I'm over here, what? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's pop some eyes on these guys. Here are googly eyes. Let's go ahead and help these guys see. And boobity boop, boobity boop. Oh, hey there! My name is Toby! You're Wow, look how like different Toby looks. Like, holy crud. There's so much stuff on this Toby. It's been a crazy year, huh? <gasps> oh my gosh, I think Toby's a year old now. How crazy. Anyway, one down, 11 more to go. Woo, okay, we're all done. Yeah, looking pretty freaking good. Now we gotta add the hooks. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna add these. Um, I didn't really think this part through. Let's see, we'll just go through their heads maybe. Oh! 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 Sorry, gosh, just trying to make you festive. Oh! Yeah, I don't, what am I gonna do? Maybe if I get a thumbtack and make the hole like that, just like, oh! And then we just put it in just like that. And there we go. Yeah, we have a little hook, perfect. Whoa, okay, let's add our Tobies. Woo, first one. Oh yeah! Yeah, that looks really good, actually. I think that the Tobies are a nice touch. However, I think these guys should have a snack. Ah, uh, these ought to do. Oh, one snack for you. Open wide. Ah. Oh. Would you like a snack? Yes, please. Yeah. And snack for you. And finally, a snack for you. Okay, guys, so the craft mystery from last year had a penny pasta star. As you can see, it has held up very well over the year. I think Benji might have gotten a hold of it. Anyway, I want to make 
a giant penny pasta star for this giant Craftmas tree. So uh, that's what we're gonna do now. Here's our parchment paper. There we go. Here's our penny pasta. I have to make a star out of all this. Let's see. So we're just gonna basically double everything, I think. Or maybe triple everything. I'll do three of what whatever they do. One, two, three. One, two, three. Maybe the star might be a little too big. Maybe I should go with two instead of three. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I'm running out of room. One, two, three. I don't know, I think this star might be a little too big. But you know what? We're gonna try it, because that's what we do here. Oh, I'm missing one right here, right? I think it's supposed to go right here. I don't think that's right. Is it like this? I think I might be overcomplicating this a little bit. Why does the star look weird? Something is very off about it. I think it's supposed to go this way, maybe? What am I doing wrong? Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make it less complicated. I'm just gonna do two instead. Here's our glue gun. Start gluing these bad boys together. Boop, boop. We got our general shape, now I'm gonna start gluing them together. Maybe if I just put hot glue at like the, the points where they intersect, that'll work. I don't know, uh, I'm just gonna do that. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and let that cool down and hopefully that'll do it. Okay, so our star's all cooled down. I'm gonna go ahead and take my X-Acto knife and kind of get rid of all the extra hot glue. Just like this. Yeah, this is a pretty solid star. Maybe I should use scissors. Boop, okay, that's a little better. Okay, yeah, that looks about as good as we're gonna get it. Now I'm gonna get some gold spray paint and paint this bad boy. Here we go. I should probably do this in a better ventilated area. Don't do this at home, kids. This is dumb. Yeah, this side's all painted and dry. Let's do the other side. You know what? On second thought, I'm gonna go ahead and do this outside. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and then we'll throw it on our craft mystery. Okay, now let's add the star. Come on, focus. Just, come on, you got, there you go. Add the star. Okay, let's do this. I probably should have done this while the tree wasn't up. There we go. Just glue that. Ah! Just glue that in place. I don't know if this is working or not. I can't really see what I'm doing. Ooh, there we go. Okay, looks good. Oh, craft mystery. Oh, craft mystery. Oh, how the glue gun burns me. Oh, craft mystery. Oh, craft mystery. It's crap.